Hello guys, this is Modest Major here, bringing you some commentary over some Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary gameplay. I don't know what I'm going to vote, probably Slayer Damnation, and you're probably hearing this slightly high-voiced child speaking through the game chat, so I apologise for that. Um, and they made it re-vote, so we're going to do Anniversary Sniper's Headlong. That'll give me some chance to talk about it. Uh, usually with live comms, I don't really like just getting too intensely into the gameplay because that's not too fun to watch and I'm not that amazing a player. So it's not like you're going to be like, Oh my god, Major, that was so sick! Because it will probably be some cringe-worthy moments, especially with the Halo Reach Sniper, which I haven't used in God knows how long. So I could be atrocious. Um, but I wanted to talk about Combat Evolved today because recently I've been, I've been thinking about it, I've been considering it, and like... Combat Evolved is a game I am pretty darn excited to see a remake of. Obviously, we've gotten this in the past, which was a Combat Evolved multiplayer remake on the Halo Reach engine, and we only got to see four maps. Uh, to be quite honest, there was a lot of maps that were missed out that I would have liked to see uh, being playable in this game. Uh, that was one frustrating element of it. Uh, the fact that the pistol is so small and minuscule and a little bit you know, pathetic and whimsical. Uh, I don't really like that because the pistol was an absolute tank, a goliath in the original games. Uh, and that's something that fairly frustrated me. And just in, in general, I've been looking for a true Combat Evolved remake for quite a long time. This was the game that probably got me into FPS. Is to be, well, that's a lie, actually. It was Goldeneye and Perfect Dark and all that stuff that got me originally into it. But I think the time where I really got addicted and really realized the potential of FPS... Uh, was this game, uh, was Combat Evolved. Combat Evolved was just a fantastic game. The vehicles were the best they'd ever been done in any game. The vehicle meta game in Halo is just fantastic, in my opinion. Um, and the the whole lore and the basis behind the vehicles seemed really well fleshed out and well realized. And that was something I, I truly got behind in a big way. Uh, that was controversial sniping them for a second. Um, so yeah, when, when I heard about Halo Reach Anniversary, I wasn't necessarily annoyed by the fact, as, as other people were. I was a little bit disappointed, of course. I don't know how you couldn't be being a fan of uh, Anniversary, but I was more disappointed by the fact that it was like, oh, does this mean we're never going to get an Anniversary remake for Combat Evolved? Like, this is done. And, you know, when the rumors were coming out for Halo 2 speculation, we're going to be seeing Halo 2, we're going to be seeing a Halo 2 remake, it was like, yeah, there goes Combat Evolved out the window. Like, we're never going to see that again. And obviously, we got a chance for the Phoenix to rise in the form of the Master Chief Collection. Now, I know it's not going to be a HD remake, but at the same time, uh, the amount of advancements we're going to see... Combat Evolved was a very dated game. It was very restrained by the fact that, uh, you know, the time it came out, there was no online on the console market at that time. Uh, the multiplayer options were severely limited, um, and I, I feel like we're going to benefit so much from seeing it on a modern console. I know it was on the PC, but at the same time, even the PC market back then wasn't quite as fleshed out as it is now. Uh, for me, I had no friends to play it with back then in the day. I did play Combat Evolved on PC for a little bit, and I absolutely adored it. Um, and that was despite having no one to really play with, um, and probably not being very good with the PC controls. And uh, now if we're going to change that around, it's going to be Combat Evolved on the Xbox with all my good friends, with Party Chat. I think it could be an insane experience. Uh, one of the things I'm really looking forward to... Oh, that was just beautiful. Um, one of the things I'm really looking forward to is the fact that we're going to see a lot of these underrated maps coming back into the fold. I think a lot of maps that people didn't really talk about, uh, such as Rat Race, uh, one of my favorite Halo multiplayer maps, period. Was that a no-scope? Was that a headshot? I don't think it was. If it was, that was glorious, but I'm pretty sure he was body-shotted anyway. Um... Rat Race was this really... It was a very unique idea for a map. It was kind of like a circuit, but a very small one at that. And there were teleporters uh, leading to specific locations. There were a lot of hidden uh, back alleys where you could find secret power weapons. And I really enjoyed the map. Oh my gosh, my sniper is completely on point. I don't know why, but when I live commentate, my sniper is better than when I am actually thinking. I think it's because I psych myself out by thinking too much when I'm actually uh, playing. So then when I'm commentating, I'm thinking about something else and I'm not necessarily... I'm just whip-shotting it and getting fairly lucky. Um, you know, 
Halo 2 is going to be absolutely incredible, don't get me wrong, and it will probably be the thing I'm most looking forward to, but just the fact that, you know, a Halo 2 remake in of itself would be absolutely godlike, a Combat Evolved remake in of itself would be absolutely godlike on multiplayer, on dedicated servers. I believe all the games are going to be 60 frames per second, I believe they're all going to be 1080p, uh, which will make a massive difference to the way that the game plays and the way that the game feels. Um... And that's just really, really incredible, in my opinion. Combat Evolved just came out at a time where technology wasn't... You know, Xbox Live wasn't even a thing when the game came out. So many people haven't experienced it. And I used to play LANs around my friend's house, and we always used to wish for bigger and better things. We used to think, you know what? This is so awesome that... Uh, you know, we're managing to play four versus four, but this is something that's so difficult to set up. All our friends have to be in the right place. We have to have a, sp a spare house. We have to have eight controllers. It was a massive event trying to get that set up. And just the idea of being able to hop on and play such an amazing game uh, with good friends being able to set up a party so easily and efficiently uh, will be an incredibly enjoyable experience. And that's, that's underselling it. It will be... I was thinking about it today, and it hadn't really settled in. Every, every day... You know, every time I, I think of the idea of the Master Chief Collection, it settles in a little bit more just how amazing a package it's truly going to be. Uh, just the idea of setting up these custom games. Um, I really hope that they make the idea of custom games and tournaments and setting it up uh, incredibly efficient. For example, what I'd like is I'd be able to... I'd want to be able to set up a tournament of, like... You know, you choose the amount of games you want to play on any given day, like eight games, and then you can put in a circulation of a Combat Evolved map and a Combat Evolved game type, then a Halo 2 game type and a Halo map, and then it just cycles through them efficiently without you having to change anything mid-game. Uh, because changing the settings and playing them around and changing between game uh, every lobby could take a little bit of time, and it would just be nice to have that added change and have a tournament where you could maybe stack up points uh, throughout the game and decide who was the best across all games. Uh, I think that's going to be a really interesting competition because Combat Evolved itself is such a different game to any other Halo game, basically due to the fact that the primary weapon is the Combat Evolved pistol, which is such a unique uh, weapon. I can't think of another game off the top of my head that made the pistol the primary weapon, that made the pistol the, the iconic uh, staple of the franchise that it has become today. And... Uh, it's it's kind of a shame that they just like I don't know. For me, w when I played any new Halo game, my first goal would be I want to check out the new pistol and see if they brought it back to the way it was. And it's kind of a nostalgic thing. And you know, I'm obviously not complaining about the route they did go down because the battle rifle is an amazing weapon, uh, and in some ways it has surpassed the combat evolved pistol in terms of the meta game. Uh, but at the same time, it, I would be like, you know, they've got to make it iconic. They've got to make it beefy. And then in Halo 2, it was this really small, ditzy little thing. It was it was black instead of silver. And you could dual wield him. And the dual wielding added another element, so I wasn't too salty about that. I was like, oh, well, at least I can spam it at people. And then the Halo 3 one came out. And I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's interesting. The Halo 3 one was a bit of a disgrace. And then the Halo 4, they added Bloom onto it. And Bloom is obviously my least favorite mechanic uh, of any game. And I suppose that what's make, that's what makes the uh, Master Chief Collection uh, so you know promising and so exciting for a lot of people out there is that if Halo's ever had a massive problem it's been that within its own community there's been a lot of divide there's been a lot of splits you know from Combat Evolved to Halo 2 there were a lot of people who dropped off between those games uh, from Halo 2 to Halo 3 there were a lot of people who dropped off between those games and then Halo 3 to Halo Reach slash Halo 4 obviously there was a huge amount of division um, and just being able to have all those games in one place is, m means that the community itself will be a lot stronger because it means that we won't have to have these arguments about what game do we think's best because the game that we do think is best we'll just be able to play and keep our mouths shut. It's, it's not like anybody's missing out on anything. And if anyone starts saying, you know, oh, I just hate the way Halo 3 is like this uh, instead of like Halo 2, it's like, well, dude, that argument is like no longer valid because just go play it. Like you have no reason to start this discussion anymore. Um... And I think that's really, really awesome, <laughs> to say the least. And, I don't know, I'll have a hard time myself picking which game I want to play because I just enjoy 
uh, each and every Halo experience in their own way. So I'm going to miss uh, the armor abilities, the thruster packs found in Halo 4 and the fast-paced nature of the game. I'm going to miss Halo 3 with its equipment, its bubble shields, the way the Spartan laser works, uh, the way the power weapons work in general, the maps, Guardian, Pitfall, uh, or the Pit. That's probably like, so, so many people are probably like killing themselves right now, pressing this like, how dare you call it Pitfall on Halo 3, you absolute scumbag. My apologies. Uh, and then Halo 2 with, I think Halo 2 for my money has the best map selection. Um, I think Halo Combat Evolved has a lot of unique additions. For example, Chiron, uh, the map, the uh, boardwalk I believe it is, where the, the two spawns are facing each other and you get sniper rifles. And it's just this insane hectic map, which we've never been able to play online also apart from on PC. So I think that could be a ridiculous addition to the game. It could be really, really enjoyable. Um, then you've got Sidewinder, which is a great BTB map. I just had to close something on my PC. That's why I went still for a second. Um, Blood Gulch, of course. The original Blood Gulch from Combat Evolved, which is fairly ridiculous, being able to play that on matchmaking. Uh, I think this, this will make everyone realize just how many kind of maps are very similar or variants of Blood Gulch to some extent. Because uh, we're going to have Blood Gulch in Halo 1, uh, Coagulation in Halo 2... Uh, then Valhalla in Halo 3, which I would I would state as being fairly similar. Obviously, it's not a mirror or anything like that of that map, but it was definitely inspired because uh, it has the two base set up with the grass, etc. And then, of course, Halo 4 Ragnarok, which is Valhalla inspired. It, well, it's very similar. I mean, the, the biggest difference about uh, Valhalla versus Ragnarok is the addition of Sprint completely changing up the way it plays. Uh, but the actual map itself isn't too strikingly dissimilar. Um, this map, I don't know, like, this map it was more of a custom map, I would say. I kind of question its uh, addition into the Halo Reach matchmaking sphere, only because uh, I, I do think it is a great map, but I think in terms of, like, oh, let's give them a certain amount of maps to have fun with on matchmaking for a while, we got such a small selection of maps, we really needed strong maps that were going to last a long time on matchmaking, and I feel like that's one of the reasons we see the uh, anniversary player numbers being fairly small at this time, 200 uh, because this map does just just doesn't have the longevity behind it. Because um, if you see this game, this game is going to go to time limit. And I am walking around the map very freely, very stupidly. And I should probably be scouting around for more people. But I'm kind of just hoping I run into trouble. Because this is what headlong can be like sometimes. It's... It's huge, but I love the art design on it, and I love the way the map plays. And on customs, oh my god, nothing used to beat it for me. We used to play a GTA, uh, a game type on this map, uh, where we'd all pretend to be, like, someone would pretend to be cops, someone would pretend to be civilians, someone would uh, pretend to be, like, the mob. And it was friggin' awesome, I've got to say. Roleplay in Halo 2, that shit was off the chain. Fail, fail. These snipers are, like, so average, you can tell. I, I never play Anniversary on this account, anyway. Um, so the people I get against are kind of invalids, uh, to say the least. But yeah, I've just, I just got to say, Master Chief Collection, I don't know, the more and more I think about it, the more I think, like, wow, this could be better than anything I've ever experienced. This could make, put the Xbox One on the map. I don't think there's much to put the Xbox One on the map at the, at the moment. Uh, you know, the fact that they just didn't have that many games at launch, and then they didn't sell the interface too well. Like, I feel like the original Xbox up to the 360, uh, the innovation that was found in the dashboard was stuff like private chat, was stuff like achievements with the blades, with the amount of options and customization that was available on the 360 in comparison to the original Xbox. Then you move from the 360 to the Xbox One, and in a lot of ways, it was a step back. You know, the Xbox One was constantly paying for the fact of Connect integration. It was paying for the fact that, you know, oh, we have to make Connect viable. We have to make Connect worth using. So we've got to move a couple of the features backwards so that people feel the need to turn on their Connect. Because some of the options using a controller were incredibly unintuitive uh, to use, to say the least. Uh, hopefully that gameplay wasn't too boring, and hopefully I managed to keep it fresh with the commentary. It's a very long one, uh, so as a result, I don't know how long this is going to take me to upload. But I'm going to finish it up here, because this loading screen is really weird. So anyway, I've been Modest Major. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Peace.